Hi, I'm Chef Tony Scruggs. It's a beautiful day out here today. You know the quickest way that I get my family and friends happy is with food. So today we're gonna throw some happiness on the grill and we're gonna do my slow smoked baby back ribs. The first thing you'd wanna do is skin the ribs. There's a membrane that runs across the bone side of the ribs. I've already pre-done these so we're ready to go. The next step, your rub. There's a lot of commercial rubs out there. You can make your own. There's a myriad of different recipes. This particular one is mine. We're gonna heavily season these. I've actually used this rub for the past 30 years in assorted competitions. It's something that I developed. This is the flavor profile that makes my friends and family happy. And they do call this a rub for a reason. Once you put this on here, you wanna rub it into the meat. You wanna permeate the meat with all of these spices. Optimally, we would let this sit for about four hours in the refrigerator or even overnight. Okay, these guys are done. You know, this is a great time to get the kids out here. Even the girls, they don't have to be stuck in the house doing the sides. Get them out here, get them doing something. It's all about being interactive, family time, having fun out in the yard next to the grill. The next thing we need to do here is we need to get our smoke packet going on. Is we're simply gonna take a little piece of aluminum foil. We're gonna add some dry chips. Drain our chips that I've pre-soaked in apple juice. When you use a combination of both dry and wet chips, you get the smoldering effect of the wet ones, but you get the immediate effect of the dry ones. That They'll begin smoking pretty rapidly. I like to use apple chips for this application. A lot of people use hickory. I find it's a little strong. Actually, when you're using any type of wood for smoking, you're not trying to overwhelm the flavor of the meat, you're trying to enhance it. And different flavors of wood also have different flavor profiles. I like the apple because it's a rather subtle type of smoke. And leave some room open for the smoke to escape. That's about fine right there. We're getting a little smoke off of these chips, so we're gonna get our ribs on here. They've been nicely rubbed with the soon to be world famous Scruggs rub. We put these on here, indirect cooking. Smoking with the hot side, the ribs, there's no heat underneath of those. We want this heat to be residual heat that permeates through and carries that smoke all the way through these ribs. Let's get this closed so they can get smoking. This will be billowing in no time. Oh yeah, these guys look perfect. The next process is we're gonna wrap them in foil. Take a nice big piece of foil, put your ribs in there, meat side down. Now on top of these, we're gonna put a little bit of apple juice. Not only does this put more moisture in it, but the sugar content in the apple juice will actually caramelize, and these ribs will come out looking like they're mahogany, just dark and beautiful. The bark is the best part. You really want a nice, dark, spicy bark around the outside of these ribs. So we're not gonna use much. It's probably about a half a cup. Okay, you wanna seal these up nice and tight, but be careful when you're pulling this foil tight, you don't want any of the bones to punch through the foil. Okay, just slide these back in. We're just gonna discard this. Make sure you get this wet, extinguish it before you throw it away. We're at the halfway point now. We're gonna let these go two more hours and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna unwrap them. And that's when we begin saucing. All right, it's been a couple hours. Let's take a look here. Oh, I don't know what's getting me more excited, the way these things look or the way these things smell. <laughs> well, my guests are sure gonna be happy. You can tell by the way they bend that they're pretty close to being done. Now it's time to sauce these babies up. You can use your favorite sauce, whatever you like, but ladle this sauce on pretty heavy. This is gonna go still for another hour, and we want the sauce to actually permeate the meat. All right, these are smoked perfectly, they're sauced perfectly. We got about an hour to go to let this sauce glaze up. And I'll tell you, you wanna be a good grill master, go to Sears. Equipment like this makes them the nation's grilling authority. Oh, perfection. Oh, I hope everybody's ready to eat. Look at that. They're so tender, they're ready to break in half. Beautiful. Chef Scruggs, slow smoked baby back ribs, done to perfection. Grilling is happy.
For more information, check out grillingishappiness.com. <music>